Good evening. It's time to call to order Guthrie Public Schools Board of Education monthly meeting for Monday, August 8th, 2016. Roll call, please. Salee. Pearson. Here. Pennington. Here. Smedley. Here. Bennett Johnson. Here. Davis. Here. Watts. Here. Madam President, we have a quorum. Thank you. Everyone would please stand and recite the Pledge of Allegiance with me. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. As we begin this meeting, let us pause for a moment of silence. Thank you. Agenda item number six. Comments to the board by the citizens. Do we have any? We have none. Are there any comments to the board by other board members? Okay. Agenda item number seven, superintendent reports. Okay, I have several items. Uh, I think this will be one of my more lengthy uh, reports, I think, probably of the year. First item I want to talk about is the central construction update. We are 90% um, complete, 98% complete, I'd say even, although Ms. Watson probably would dispute that because <laughs> she hasn't seen her building at its worst. Uh, we're in a cleaning phase right now, and uh, we have crews that are working very hard to get the cleaning phase done. Uh, the air is on and it is working and that's a good thing um, and uh, we expect to to let the teachers in on wednesday uh, into that building uh, we will probably still have some cleaning going on as they are in there and <clears throat> remember that this there is one more phase to the work at central and that is to replace the windows in the original portion of the building and that will be accomplished this fall but uh, Right now, we're very pleased with uh, the work that has been done. It has been a, a very tight time frame, and, and uh, we're, uh, we're happy to say that, the, that as of Friday, they turned the air on, and it was cool, it was cool air coming out. Um, the next item is a cleaning update for the board. Um, first of all, I want to say special thanks to our custodial and maintenance staff. They have, uh, we, di we did this a little differently this year than we have in the past in that we did not put crews together and go from building to building, we let the custodians stay in their building and have the ownership of their building to accomplish their goals and let them do that for the uh, duration of the summer. And uh, with the exception of uh, Central, obviously, for obvious reasons with construction, uh, I think that we can say that that's been uh, a big success. Uh, the buildings are, uh, are in, in good shape. Uh, there's some finishing touches on uh, Fogarty that we've uh, we've been putting on at the last minute, but the the positive to that has been that the teachers have been able to get into their classrooms sooner, and um, and we hope that the uh, the buildings are um, maybe at a higher level of uh, functionality and, and cleanliness and sparkle because it is the people that are going to be in those buildings they're working with the teachers that have been doing that all summer. And so there's some more ownership by the by the custodial staff. Uh, the next item I wanted to say congratulations to our athletic director John Chapel and the Hall of Fame committee for a successful golf tournament fundraiser that was uh, uh, happened Saturday afternoon. Mr. Chapel has taken on uh, the task of restarting, uh, rekindling the fire, as it were, with the uh, Guthrie High School uh, Athletic Hall of Fame, and I believe there has not been an induction since 2001. And uh, they are looking, they're trying to raise some money so that they can get, uh, get that going again, full steam, and begin uh, honoring some, some more uh, of our past Blue Jays that, are, that have uh, uh, a lot of excellence in their lives and, and a lot of things that they've done for, for Guthrie. Um, the next item, today we kicked off centralized elementary enrollment. Uh, I would say it was very successful. Uh, we did all of this at the high school. That's the first time that we've done that. 
Um, it was a one-stop shop, and that will be going on again tomorrow, where anyone that is from sixth grade down, they go to the high school, and we have all the elementary buildings there. We have transportation there. We have child nutrition. We have all of that there where the parents at one time can deal with all that and not have to drive all, all around town. Um, I can tell you as a parent myself, I went through it and I, was, uh, I felt like it was very well run. And I think our staff uh, did an outstanding job. Ms. Walters headed that up, but I know she had a lot of help from a lot of people. And there were, there were many staff members there from all the buildings and, uh, and I thought it was an outstanding idea and a great success. And we look forward to finishing that up tomorrow. Um, the next item, Friday, August 12th, we'll have new teacher orientation at 8 a.m. And uh, we'll do that in, in this room. And uh, I believe we have 17 new teachers that we will welcome to the district. And that number is down for obvious reasons uh, around the state as well as in Guthrie. But we'll welcome those uh, staff members to our district. And uh, they will begin their, their arduous day of orientation to the policies and procedures that we have. Uh, and board members, you are invited to attend that if you'd like, and, uh, and then also I, I think some of you I'm going to take on a tour of the, of the district facilities after that, and, and know this, anytime you want a tour of the facilities as well, and I, I, my predecessor did this in the past, and I had kind of taken a uh, step away from it, but I think it's been long enough that we probably need to do that again, and so uh, just because, you know, you may not have seen a building uh, because your child wasn't in it for a few years back or maybe they started whenever but it, or maybe they're not in that building yet but know that uh, you can always uh, let me know and we'll, we'll arrange that as well if that time doesn't work for you um, a sign that schools around the corner there's a lot of things like that coming up with, with what I'm going to talk about our softball team kicks off on Thursday of this week at 5 p.m. as we're hosting Capitol Hill then Meet the Blue Jays for fall sports is Saturday from 2 until 7 at Gelsma Stadium. And uh, that, uh, during that time, you can test drive a Buick in your drive for your students program. Uh, this is a fundraiser from the Football Booster Club and the Education Foundation, and it's courtesy of Buick and Vance Auto Group. All you do is go test drive a car, fill out a form. Uh, it's no pressure, and that makes money for us, and it doesn't cost you a thing, and they're really not going to try and sell you a car while you're there. So I uh, encourage you to go do that, and anyone else in the audience as well. Uh, then uh, next Tuesday, August uh, 16th at 8 a.m., is the all-school convocation in the junior high school auditorium, and all the board members are invited for that as well. Um, that's where we have all the staff come in. Uh, and we, uh, the band's in there, we have the national anthem, our junior ROTC presents the colors. Uh, we talk a lot about the next year to come and, and where we've been and where we're headed. And uh, it's always a fun time. Uh, just a reminder that we've scheduled a special board meeting for Wednesday, August 17th at 7.30 a.m. to handle any last minute personnel issues. And we're probably gonna have a, f a couple of things there. Then uh, meet the teacher elementary meet the teacher night will be Wednesday or meet the teacher day will be Wednesday August 17th that same day from noon until 7 p.m. Um, Thursday August 18th the data retreat and we're going to do that a little bit differently this year but that's going to be from 8 until 11 uh, in the admin building is, is that right on the times Carmen and uh, and we at times the board members have have attended that and feel free you're invited if you want to come. To that as well and so all of that leading up to the first day of school on Friday August 19th and then uh, a reminder that the uh, OSSBA COSA conference is uh, August 26th through the 28th in Oklahoma City if you want to register and you haven't uh, see Jana and she can get you registered up and then I believe at your table at your seat is it there the the board member where you stand on board member points uh, for uh, board member training too. I wanted, we always, at this meeting, we always try to update you one way or another on that. I wanted to, uh, to, to put it on paper so you guys are aware of that. That's all I got. Thank you. Agenda item number eight, the consent agenda, which appears on pages five through 45, your packet. I move we approve the consent agenda. Second. 
Roll call, please. Pearson. Yes. Pennington. Yes. Smedley. Yes. Bennett Johnson. Yes. Davis. Yes. Watts. Yes. Six I, zero names. Agenda item nine, recommendation, consideration, and action to calculate the 2016-2017 school year by instructional hours, page 46 of your packet. This is an annual item that we consider and uh, requires the board's action on as we uh, utilize, if we, if we get into a bad weather situation, we did this a couple of years ago, uh, we can trim days off and still meet the minimum requirements by the board taking this action. Our calendar still calls for um, Mr. Odell 175 days, I believe, right now. Yes, 173 in the classroom and two professional days. Okay. But if in the event that we have an extenuating uh, bad weather issue, we have that flexibility down the road. Is there a motion? I make a motion that we calculate the 2016-17 school year by instructional hours. Second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Pearson. Yes. Pennington. Yes. Smedley. Yes. Bennett Johnson. Yes. Davis. Yes. Watts. Yes. Six I, zero nays. Agenda item 9B, recommendation, consideration, and action upon teen risk avoidance and character education also known as TRACE, for ninth grade students, page 47 of your packet. This is a program that we've had for four years now, and uh, it is an opt-in uh, program for character education, and I recommend that we uh, re-approve this for this school year. Mr. Ogle can answer any questions along with uh, Mr. Grand. Is there a motion? I make a motion that we approve uh, the teen risk avoidance and character education for ninth grade students. Second. Is there any discussion? Roll call, please. Pearson. Yes. Pennington. Yes. Smedley. Yes. Bennett Johnson. Yes. Davis. Yes. Watts. Yes. Six I, zero nays. <coughs> Agenda item 9C recommendation, consideration, and action upon agreements with the City of Guthrie for school resource officers for 2016 2017. Pages 48 to 54 of your packet. This is an executable document that has been approved by the City Council. Uh, and we've, uh, I believe, had some discussions about this in, in a couple of committees. Uh, this is where the City has agreed to eliminate for this school year uh, the cost of the two SROs that we were paying for, along with a uh, reduction of water rates to uh, up to $140,000 per year for this coming year. Uh, in order to fund three teaching positions, and we will consider uh, employment of those positions later on in the agenda. I move we approve the agreements with the City of Guthrie for school resource officers for 2016-17 and say thank you. <laughs> Second. Is there any discussion? Yes, I believe that's, this is something great they've done for us. We're all very appreciative. Um, roll call, please. Pearson. Yes. Pennington. Yes. Smedley. Yes. Bennett Johnson. Yes. Davis. Yes. Watts. Yes. Six I, zero nays. Agenda item 9D, recommendation, consideration, and action upon change order for Graco Roofing and Construction, LLC, pages 55, 56 of your packet. This is a good kind of change order that I enjoy bringing to you. It's a $25,000 deduction uh, for the work that was done on the roofing project uh, last year. Uh, there were no unforeseen uh, conditions, and the contingency that was uh, put into that contract is 25000 and so recommend that you approve change order number one. I make a motion that we approve the change order for Graco Riffing and Construction. Second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Pearson. Yes. Pennington. Yes. Smedley. Yes. Bennett Johnson. Yes. Davis. Yes. Watts. Yes. Six I, zero nays. Agenda item 9E, recommendation, consideration, and action upon school bus riders handbook for 2016-2017, pages 57 through 68 of your packet. And there are some changes that are noted uh, on, and a lot of this is uh, cleanup of, uh, ch and change of responsibilities for what we're doing on how the discipline will be administered uh, on, on transportation infractions this year. 
I played 66 is where the majority, well, I think that's all the changes are right there. Uh, we'll recommend approval. I make a motion that we approve the school bus riders handbook for 2016-17. Second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Pearson. Yes. Pennington. Yes. Smedley. Yes. Bennett Johnson. Yes. Davis. Yes. Watts. Yes. Six I zero names. Agenda item 9F, recommendation, consideration, and action upon revision to policy F-6, Guthrie Public Schools Wellness Policy, as appears on pages 69 through 74 of your packet. Okay, this, uh, will, this is necessitated by new federal guidelines for the Healthy and Hunger-Free Kids Act. And uh, we've got it in strike throughs and, and new language in red. And this is a this is the culmination of some work that Mr. Schultz and Ms. Walters uh, did with, along with uh, uh, our representative from Southwest Food and our uh, legal counsel in order to place us in compliance for this year. I make a motion that we approve the revision to policy F-6, Guthrie Public Schools Wellness Policy. Second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Pearson. Yes. Pennington. Yes. Smedley. Yes. Bennett Johnson. Yes. Davis. Yes. Watts. Yes. Six I zero nays. Agenda item 10, proposed executive session for the purpose of discussing employment of personnel, FMLA request, resignation, separation from employment, and transfer of position request. All is set out on the personnel reports, teacher negotiations for 2016-2017, Administrator's Handbook and Salary Schedule for 2016-2017, disclosure of which information would violate the confidentiality requirements of state and or federal law, all pursuant to 25 Oklahoma Statutes, Section 307, B, 1, 2, and 7. I make a motion that we go into executive session. Second. Roll call. Pearson. Yes. Pennington. Yes. Smedley. Yes. Bennett Johnson. Yes. Davis. Yes. Watts. Yes. Six I zero nays. Okay. We turn to open session. The only the items in agenda ten were discussed in executive session and no votes were taken. This shall constitute the executive session minutes. Agenda item eleven. Vote on action as set out on the personnel reports, page seventy five seventy six. I make a motion we approve the personnel report. Second. Second. Roll call. Pearson. Yes. Pennington. Yes. Smedley. Yes. Bennett Johnson. Yes. Davis. Yes. Watts. Yes. Six I zero nays. Agenda item 12, recommendation, consideration, and action upon the administrator's handbook and salary schedule, not including the superintendent, for 2016-2017, pages 77 to 87. The only change that we have on this uh, from the document that you approved last month is a modification of the salary for the director of alternative education and then I'm going to recommend that the board also approve even though it's not noted on this uh, revision of the published date to reflect uh, tonight's board meeting. I make a motion we approve administrator's handbook and the salary schedule 2016 and 17. Second. Roll call. Pearson. Yes. Pennington. Yes. Smedley. Yes. Bennett Johnson. Yes. Davis. Yes. Watts. Yes. Six I zero nays. Agenda item 13, recommendation, consideration, and action to accept any resignations offered since the posting of the agenda. We have two for your consideration tonight. And we will pass those out. <coughs> Chad Laffrey and Tresha Arrington, and I recommend that the board accept those resignations tonight. I make a motion that we accept the resignations offered since the posting of the agenda. Second. Roll call. Pearson. Yes. Pennington. Yes. Smedley. Yes. Bennett Johnson. Yes. Davis. 
Yes. Watts. Yes. Six eyes, zero nays. <coughs> Agenda item 14, discussion and possible action on new business not known about or could not have been reasonably foreseen at the time of the agenda posting. We have none. Agenda item 15. I make a motion and we adjourn. A second. Roll call. Pearson. Yes. Pennington. Yes. Smedley. Yes. Bennett Johnson. Yes. Davis. Yes. Watts. Yes. Six eyes, zero nays.